So hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a main menu with your identification support So you can control with your controller or keyboard and mouse even It's pretty easy to do So yeah, let's get started I'll create a new blank project And then this YouTube underscore UI navigation Okay, so let's create a new folder I'll name this main menu Create right click, create a new level, main menu, save, right click again, blueprint class, create a new player, controller, and this BP underscore main menu, EC, stands for player controller, right click, blueprint class, game mode, BP underscore main menu, game mode, double click on it, drag this into the player controller class, Go to our player controller class here, even graph. Set show mouse cursor to be true. Create a new widget. Here I will create a new folder, name this UI. Right click, create a new user interface, widget blueprint, this widget. WBP underscore main menu. Leave it for now. Go back to our player controller. Set the class to be WBP underscore main menu here. Add to report and I will set input mode game and UI. So the controller is gonna be cell. In widget to focus, this will be the return of value of this memory widget. At cursor during capture, I will uncheck this. Compile. Let's set our default level here. Go to edit and project settings. Map and modes. Open world. Change this to main menu. Main menu. And the game mode here is gonna be BP underscore main menu game mode. Now let's design our main menu UI. Save it first. Double click on here. I'll create a new overlay. I'll create a size box. This will be in the middle here. I'll attack this one. Check the width and height override. I'll set this to let's say 700 by, eh, sorry, 450 times 600 maybe. Actually 400 by 500. Create an image for the background. Make it full screen. Make it on the back of the size box so you can drag to above the size box. Make it thin to like open. Make it black. So point five. On the size box here, create another overlay. Create another image for the background. Set the size. To be full screen, set the image thin, make it gray here. 2.5. Create, create a vertical box, make it full screen. Padding set to 5 on all of the axes there. Create a text. Set the horizontal alignment to be center. And set the justification to be center. I don't know this name maybe. Set the font size at the 45. Create another vertical box. I'll pack the is variable list to true and I'll name this VB stands for vertical box underscore buttons. Here I will create a button. Put it inside the VB underscore button there. Create a text. Set this to play. Set the padding top and bottom to 25. It's, it's too big. 15 by 15. Set the font size to be 40. Check the is variable here. Copy that, paste it three times. Like that. Hold control on the keyboard. Select the three button on below here. Set the padding top to 25. Okay, this is gonna be settings. Credit. And exit. Let's set the padding of this one to 25. Yep, like this. And for this video, I will just create the functionality for this exit button here. So you can scroll down on this button. On click event, add new one, quit game. Yep, that's it. Compile. Let's create the functionality for our controller and keyboard. And go to even graph. On the even construct here, drag the vertical box buttons there. And get child 
at index zero this you can directly set keyboard focus check this into the event construct but you have to create a delay for this so you're gonna hold d on a keyboard and click to add a delay set this to 0 0.1 i guess yeah, that's fine compile now we're gonna add a new function uh add a new custom event sorry i'll name this uh check for focus yes from this one from this track button here you can set timer by event drag this into the set keyboard focus here this will be 0 0.01 time and it's looping for this you can drag the vertical box again and you can get all children for each loop plug that in you can cast to button and from here you will uh, check for has and has keyboard focus then you're gonna set style so for the install here you can select plug the certain value of the has keyboard focus to the select pin here and for this one you can uh, drag from the false and true promote this to variable i'll name this default button style the second one true here promote to variable this will be on selected button style compile let's set our button style you can expand this normal hover press i'll set the hover uh, i'll set the default here to be zero set this to box copy this and paste on the hover but this time i will set the alpha to be 0 0.25 copy that paste it again on the press here compile now you're gonna set the unselected button style here expand i'll set the normal here to be a little bit blue here like this set the alpha to 0 0.25 copy this paste on the hover set the alpha to 0 0.5 copy and paste on the past compile yep, i think we are good to go let's try to play the game i'm gonna click play you can never get the menu using your arrow key but as you can see you will see like a blue outline there if you don't want that you can easily uh hide that go to edit project settings under all settings here we can type uh focus and here on the render focus rule you can set this to never and it will never show up the like a blue outline there again let's try it using a uh, controller so here i will test using my controller i've played the game and let's try to move it using wait actually one uh, hand let's click this keypad down right here yep you can easily change it and now with your thumbstick joystick sorry and now you can select it using this a button right here let me press it here yep so it's work and now how about using our keyboard yep it's okay so okay but i came with some issue right here which is when you click on either anything besides this button the focus will be lost and if you do it one more time and if you click before you even um press any key on your gamepad you cannot regain the focus i've tried many different uh, type of solutions but i got this one solution that um might be helpful for you guys this is like the cleanest solution and it will not create other problems and here i've tried to set the visibility of this canvas panel to visible and it still doesn't work and then i've tried to use the um event on focus lost here but it's a bit messy so i found this one trick it's pretty easy uh let me demonstrate for you guys here you can create a button here make it full screen i'll set the z order this one to let's say 
minus 10 on the appearance background color I will set this to 0 and also for the color and opacity I'll set this to 0 on the alpha okay uh, compile I'll name this like say let's say like beat button underscore um, regain focus gonna on click here here I will create a new variable I'll name this uh, last focused button this will be type button and here I will set this by check for focus for each loop okay if it has a keyboard focus plug this into the return value I'll set the last focus button to this one just like that and now when we click on the button again focus you will immediately just set the keyboard focus to this one compile save we can try to play it when you click anywhere on the screen you will regain focus onto the last button that you have offered let's say i will focus on this button right here if you click anywhere it will immediately regain focus to your last offered uh last focus button it's pretty easy to fix. Yep, so that's it for this video. We have covered how to create a UI navigation menu system in Unreal Engine 5, where you can navigate between buttons using your keyboard, mouse, and controller. Please do let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel. So I will see you in the next one.